प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर Why it is called as principal quantum number? Because this is the quantum number that is going to decide the values of the next two quantum numbers, azimuthal quantum number and magnetic quantum number. So principal quantum number is the principle on which the next two magnetic quantum numbers will be decided. Now principal quantum number. The idea of principal quantum number was provided by Neil Bohr in Bohr's atomic model. In some books, it is written that Bohr's atomic model was one-dimensional model. One-dimensional model means it was based on a single quantum number, and that quantum number is the principal quantum number. The symbol of principal quantum number is n, which is written in the lower case. What can be the values of this principal quantum number? One, two, three, four, and so on. This lecture is basically for the FSC students, so I will keep myself restricted up to the fourth shell. Or the fourth energy level. That's why I have written just four values. The value of principal quantum number starts from one and it goes to infinite values. Mean it has infinite number of values. <coughs> Now, in the start of my lecture, I have already told you that quantum numbers are having some fixed values. You are not free to write down any value and say that this is the Value of a quantum number, just like in this this case, it is clear that n can never be n can never be zero or any. Fractional number or any negative number. So the value of n is always zero. Sorry, is always non-zero, whole number and positive. It can never be zero. It can never be fractional and it can never be negative. So this is the quantum number that has some fixed discrete values. You cannot write down any value in in this case. Now what the Principal quantum number actually describes. I am taking just four values of the principal quantum number. If n is equal to one, it means this is the first shell. That is the k shell. You know the shell is also called as orbit or principal energy level. So k is a shell. It is an orbit. It is a principal energy level. When value of n is two, that is L shell. If it is three m, and if it is four, it shows it is n shell or n orbit or n principal energy level. When I was a student, I used to think that do scientists have no idea about the alphabets? They must start this value from A. Why they have started it from K? I used to think it. And when I tried to find the answer of this question, what I found, I am going to discuss with you people. It is the it is what I have found. It may be right or may be wrong. Just consult it. Why it is started from K? Because in Greek. The nucleus is called as carrion. So the shell which is nearest to the carrion, that is called as the K shell. The second logic that was in Latin language, there is a word 
कुर्सी एंड कुर्सी मींस स्मॉलेस्ट बिकॉज के इज द स्मॉलेस्ट शेल सो डेट्स वाई फ्रॉम द कुर्सी वी हैव टेकन द फर्स्ट लेटर के दीज आर द टू पॉइंट दैट आई हैव फाउंड बाय द फर्स्ट शेल इज कार्डलेस द के शेल एंड वाई इट इज नॉट कार्डलेस ए शेल so the first information is about the shells k l m n obviously if it will be 5 o then if it the value of n will be 6 p and so on the second information that principal quantum number provides us it is the distance of electron from nucleus and energy of electron when i say energy of electron it is same as energy of shell so energy of electron or energy of shell both are same and both these factors they are directly proportional to n mean greater the value of n the distance of electron from nucleus that will be greater and greater the value of n the energy of the shell or the energy of the electron will be higher so you can say that the electron in k shell is nearest to the nucleus with the lowest energy and electron in the n shell among these values i am just talking among these values among these values the electron which is in the n shell that is having maximum distance from the nucleus and that is also having the maximum energy among these shells even the size of shell that is also directly proportional to n so k shell is smallest then l is bigger as compared to k then even bigger even bigger shell is observed next information which is provided by the principal quantum number is the angular momentum of electron mvr is equal to n h over 2 pi you can see that h Two and pi are constant, so the angular momentum is solely depending on the value of the principal quantum number. The first information, second, third, fourth. Now next, there is a formula which is very important, which is two n square. This two n square gives us information about the maximum. number of electrons that can be accommodated in a shell so for k n is 1 if we will put value of n 1 here the square of 1 will be 1 and into 2 it means that k shell can have maximum of two electrons l shell can have maximum of eight electrons m shell can have maximum of 18 electrons n shell can have maximum of 32 electrons and similarly the o shell for which the value of n will be 5 it can have maximum of 50 electrons and so on so these are some important informations which are provided by the principal quantum number